Hi everyone, in this quick video I'm going to show you how you can configure Browser Sync and Gulp in a local by Flywheel so you can create a really essential and basic development environment that uh, despite it's extremely minimal it should still help you to save some time uh, in development since uh, Browser Sync introduces some features like uh, auto refresh and uh, CSS injection First of all, in case you don't have uh, Node.js installed, you can download this one, the long-term support version. And I'm not going over on how to install Node.js because it's pretty straightforward and easy. At some point, it will ask you to install some packages, some additional packages, and you can just say yes. And besides Node.js, we will also need uh, local by Flywheel. And by the way, I'll leave all the links uh, to these websites and to some resources down in the description in case you need them. Installing local is pretty straightforward. You just need to put an email here. Then you just follow the installation steps. Pretty straightforward so far. Once we installed local, we can just run it and create our first website. And to add a new website, we can simply click on the top left icon right here. As you notice, the first time you run this, they may ask you some permissions for the firewall, but that's it. Then once you created your first website, I suggest to activate the one-click admin function. It just simplifies the login process. So you can just click here to login without having to type in uh, any kind of credential. And by the way, one note about local is that when you run it, you need to manually start the website by clicking on the button right here on the top right corner. And uh, on this area right here, you will see all your websites and you simply click on the websites you want to work on. And of course, you can start multiple websites at the same time in case you need it. Then for the next step, we need to click on go to site folder right here. And here we need to go inside app, public, WP content, of course. And of course here, it can be different depending if you need to develop a plugin or a theme. Let's imagine that we need to develop a theme. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use uh, Generate Press as a parent theme and uh, a really small and simple custom child theme. But of course, this will work with any theme or plugin that you need to create. So I'm going to pause the video for a moment. I will create the child theme. Then we will go inside the child theme folder and set up browser sync and the packages that we need from Node. So when the child theme is ready, it will probably look something like this or something more elaborate, depending on what you need. And at this point, uh, to make things a little bit easier, I suggest using the package.json file that I included down in the description. And we can just copy that file right here. Then we, we can just open this file with uh, any text editor. In my case, it's Atom, but feel free to use whatever you prefer. In this file, basically, we indicate the dependencies and the packages that we will need to run our very simple and basic development environment with Browser Sync and Gulp. Feel free to update these values to match uh, your project description and with your name, of course. And once we have this file, we can just uh, go back to the folder, open a PowerShell window right here by holding down the Shift key and clicking right here. Then on this window, we just run the command npm install. It will take a while. It will create a folder right here in our file called node modules. And we absolutely don't need to edit that folder manually. It will also create another package file that we don't need to edit. And these files are just used to run our development environment and that's all. So you don't need them on your production website. Just remember that when your first theme or plugin version is ready to be exported. After NPM finished installing our packages, to run this particular dev environment, we also need to install Gulp globally. And to do that, we run two commands. One is NPM install G and this means globally, gulp. Then basically the same command, but for this package as well. And finally, we also install browser sync globally. And right now it's a good idea to check if gulp is correctly installed because sometimes it gives 
uh, a particular error. At least uh, it happened to me several times. So you can check uh, if you have uh, Gulp successfully installed with this command. We got an error. You may get this error as well. And if that's the case, you should be able to solve this by adding npx in front of your command. And we can see that uh, we have Gulp successfully installed. At this point, uh, we are almost done, but Gulp needs also another configuration file, which I also left down in the description. It's called gulpfile.js, and I'll copy it right here. Then we can simply edit it with uh, the correct link to our local website. It looks something like this. You can just copy exactly this file. Then we just need to replace this line of code with the correct link to our local website, which you can find right here. So in my case is test yt.local. And finally, we're almost done. Let me just add very quickly my project folder. And this is just the folder of my child team. Then we should go back to our command line right here. However, before running the, the command to start browser sync and gulp and everything, I just wanted to show you the website, which is just one website from the Generate Press site library. And one thing to note is that this is the homepage of our local website. So notice the URL, but we will not work actively on this page when we run uh, browser sync. So let's go back to our editor and open up uh, the style.css file. So we can try a few things there. And also let's start Gulp. To start Gulp, uh, your command should look like something like this. I'm not going to run this command because it will give me an error. Uh, so I have to add uh, npx in front of it. However, remember that you may not need to add uh, npx. So first try to just run Gulp watch and see what happens. And when you run this command, you will notice that uh, it will open up uh, a new tab in your browser and you can see that the URL is different. And also you will see this notification right here that confirms that uh, browser sync is connected and is running. So at this point, we can have some fun with CSS injection and auto refresh. So we don't have to hit refresh every five seconds while we do front end development. And for example, if you want to edit this headline right here, we can do it with some very fast and ugly CSS, something like uh, color red, for example. And as you can see, without refreshing the page, the CSS gets injected and the text color changes. Of course, we can add a background with some other terrible color, something like this, just as an example. But now let me delete this so I can show you another cool feature that will save you even more time. So the cool thing about browser sync is that you can refresh automatically the page on multiple windows at the same time. And to show this to you, I will open another window with the same URL from browser sync and just set two different resolutions. For example, in one, we will have a resolution which is from old iPhone smartphones and on the other one, just a generic tablet resolution. And if we try to scroll, you will see that the scroll is synchronized. So this is super useful. Of course, uh, this will be especially useful if you have multiple screens because you can scroll uh, in this way and in different uh, resolutions, right? Then just to show you how easy it is to edit CSS, uh, I'm going to add some random edits to this element right here. Then I'll also show you how browser sync works with files that aren't CSS. Because with other files, browser sync works uh, in a similar fashion. However, it will refresh the page. So in this case, as you can see, we are injecting CSS into the page while with the other files, uh, it simply refreshes the pages for you across all the windows that you opened with browser sync. So let's give it a try with the functions.php file. And I'm going to try to add uh, a hook function to add uh, an additional header. However, of course, uh, I will not develop the header right here, right? So it will be some pretty ugly code just to demonstrate the concept. And let's try. I got a function right here. 
Of course, it's really ugly, like I said. And if we save the file, as you can see, the windows refresh automatically. And also we get uh, our string right here, extra header. And that's it. As you can notice, uh, this kind of uh, environment can save you a lot of time. And I also guided you here in this video on uh, your first uh, Gulp configuration file, just so you will have also a base to expand later on, because Gulp uh, includes uh, much more functionality than uh, just browser sync. However, I hope this was useful for you and let me know if you have any questions.